Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm just going to be doing a haul and this is everything that I've gotten around Christmas time until now. So some of this were Christmas presents. Some of this was bought with Christmas money. Some of it I bought myself, um, like these acrylic gouache. So I'm just going to go through everything and I like to do these little haul videos so you guys know what's coming up on my channel because I do like to review different products so you guys will know what sort of reviews are coming up. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see those videos when they come out. But this was actually a review that came out last week but I had done it a couple of weeks ago and that was for the acrylic gouache here, the Liquitex, and I'll go ahead and link that review down below in the description but I ended up just falling in love with these paints. And so of course I had to buy some more. Now I got these on a really good sale at Michael's. They were on sale for $9.99 each and that's Canadian. So they were really on sale. And some of these I think retail for anywhere between like 12 and 16, 17 dollars, something like that. So they were almost half price off. So I did pick up quite a few. Now I also went ahead and picked up the fluorescence set here and I just thought, now these are not light fast. All of the other colors in the Liquitex acrylic gouache range are light fast so you don't have to worry about you know using any of them. However the fluorescent ones are not light fast. They're not rated but I just thought the colors were just so gorgeous and this was on sale as well so I thought I'd go ahead and pick this up and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them but I don't know I just thought the colors were very pretty. Now I just wanted to show you a difference between this and this. So this is the two fluid ounces, 59 mils, and this is the 0.74 fluid ounces or 22 mils. Now this is the set that I had originally gotten and this is a 12 set and it came with 12 colors like this, but all of the other colors that I found come like this. Now these colors, the ones that came in the 12 set, also come in a two ounce size, but my Michaels didn't have any of the smaller sizes. They only had these big bottles, but I figured, you know, $9 for a bottle this size is pretty good. Now these are all sealed and they have like these little spouts where you can uh, take the paint out and it's actually quite easy to use. I thought that the paint would just come out of them because they are a little bit of a runnier acrylic gouache but I'm just loving these and so I had to pick up some more colors because I knew I'd be using these a lot more. The next thing that I got was this Ecoline paper. Now this says it's liquid watercolor paper. It comes in a 9.4 by 12.6 inches and it says that it has 12 sheets. It's one-sided glued here. Now, the interesting thing with this paper is it says it's watercolor paper, and on here you can see some texture in the watercolor, but this paper is smooth, like super smooth, but it is really thick, and I don't know if it says how thick it is. It says 140 pounds, but I mean, it is like thick paper, but it's so smooth. It says it's by Royal Talons, but I've never seen this paper before. Now I've seen um, Ecoline like liquid brush pens and stuff like that. So I'm assuming this is intended for that. So if I have any of those, I'm gonna try them on here, but I also have like some Tombow markers. I think this paper would be really good for watercolor pencils maybe, but I'm also gonna try, you know, watercolor or whatever. So let me know what you want me to, to test on this, even colored pencil because it is just so smooth. So I thought this was kind of an interesting paper to try. Then I've just picked up a couple more arches blocks here. So I've got a nine by 12 and a seven by 10. These are my standard um, sizes that I usually do. Sometimes I'll pick up the eight by 10, but for whatever reason, that's usually a little more expensive and a little harder for me to get. So I just do the seven by 10. And if I'm gonna frame it, then I just do a mat around the side. So anytime I see these on sale, I tend to pick them up because it is my favorite paper for watercolor. Now I've got two really interesting papers here and I've not seen these before so I've not seen anybody reviewing them on YouTube but mind you I haven't been looking up reviews for them either and I haven't seen them in stores either. I did pick these up on Amazon and the thing that intrigued me about these papers is it says that it's a gray sandpaper and a natural colored sandpaper and I was thinking you know, sandpaper as in like textured paper for like pastels. Canson makes a Metiens, which is a little bit um, textured, but I wouldn't call it sandpaper. So I was really interested. And 
it's true when you open these up now it says it's for dry mixed media um so i'm assuming no wet media on here but when you open these up like if you feel it it's definitely got a gritty texture to it now i wouldn't call it like rough sandpaper or anything like that but it definitely has a texture to it and it almost reminds me of pastel mat which is really interesting now these were super affordable and if you guys know the price of pastel mat or if you use pastel mat with your pastels or colored pencils you know it's not cheap so this really intrigued me now the paper is fairly thin as you can see here but even the back side is a little bit textured maybe the back side is even more slightly textured than the front side and again this one I'd say this one, both sides are about the same, but it's really interesting, but you can see like these little grits in this one. And this one, you don't see it as much, but I definitely feel it. So it, it's almost like somebody's put a few coats of gesso or something on each page. And I kind of flipped through and each one kind of feels the same. Now I would say maybe the natural one feels a little more textured than the gray version but I really want to give these a try. They both come with 40 papers, which is pretty good. It's 98 pounds. It's okay, but I am super interested in trying these papers out. So let me know what kind of mediums you want to see me try on these papers. Now I've got two different watercolor sets here that I've recently picked up. This one I got with some Christmas money, and then this one I bought myself just because I've heard such good things about the Paul Rubens, but I've also heard some really good things about the Sennelier watercolors. Now this set in particular really intrigued me because it was 12 colors plus six free colors. Now this is their professional range, the L'Aquarelle, but I'm really interested and as you're gonna notice, the box is kind of empty because I couldn't wait to do this video. I had to get into it already. So I am in the process of reviewing these. So this video should come out in the next couple of weeks, I would think, but it does say it's honey-based, luminous and rich color. Um, and some of the colors that come in this set aren't traditional colors that you would find in other sets, which is really interesting. So there's that. And then the Paul Rubens, I'm not going to open because I do want to do like an unboxing video of this and a in-depth review like I do for all of the products. But um, I did pick this one up as well. And I believe this is the 24 pan set. And both of these are pans. Something else that I picked up is this brusho set. Now this is supposed to be like powdered watercolor which is really interesting. And you take a little spritzer and you spray it. And as you can see here, it will burst into different colors. So we've got sunburst lemon, orange, alizarin crimson, violet, turquoise, and sea green. Now I've already peeked in here just to see what comes in it, but it comes with like this little pamphlet um, with all of the different colors and everything. And then it also comes with this little water bottle thing and you can like use this to spray. And just look at the tops of these. Like, I just thought this was so cool that they would burst into like different colors. So I wanna go ahead and try those out sometime as well. And here's sort of like their color range. So I'll leave that there, um, but yeah. So this will just be something fun to play around with, I think. The next thing I picked up here is this Winsor & Newton watercolor pencil set. Now it comes with 12 colors. The only other watercolor pencils I've tried is the uh, Derwent 60 set and the Faber-Castell Albert Durr watercolors, which are my absolute favorite. But I thought it would be fun to give these a try and sort of um, show you how you don't need a lot of colors because I'm in the mindset that, you know, I like to have all the colors, I want to have them all, but you know, sometimes just a small set is all you really need. So I thought it would be fun to just create something with just these 12 um, pencils and just to test them out and see how they do. Now, something else I can't wait to get into is this Lux Archival and Colored Pencil Powder Blender. Now, I love the um, brush and pencil titanium white and touch up texture. And I use that, you mix those together and it creates a very opaque and archival white that can go on top of colored pencils. It's light fast, it's archival, and it's meant to go on top of colored pencils. Now this Lux Archival and Powder Blender is meant for colored pencils as well, but this is more like sanded paper. And this is like, like very textured. This feels like sandpaper. Whereas those other two papers from Canson, 
felt just a little bit gritty. This feels like sandpaper. And so what you do is you put your colored pencils on here and then you use the powder blender to blend them out. And it's supposed to blend them out almost like you were using pastel or pastel pencils. So I'm really interested to try this out. Now this is 100% cotton, it's 140 pounds, eight by 10 paper. Let me get this back in here and then I can read the rest of this for you. I'm gonna hold this a little bit angled so hopefully you're not getting too much um, glare, but Aliona Nicholson is the one that created the colored pencil Bible and the colored pencil painting portraits Bible, I believe. And she's worked with colored pencils for a long time. And so when she created this paper, she was looking for something specifically meant for colored pencils. So it says it's an excellent support for all dry mediums, such as colored pencil, pastel, graphite, charcoal, etc., as well as various liquid mediums. White surface makes applied transparent and translucent colors shine with brilliance. So a lot of sanded papers won't find pure white like this. And I know I've got some from another brand. Let me go grab it because I'll just show you the difference between the colors. So this is my UART sanded paper and this is 600 grade. It's a nine by 12. Now I got this thinking I might like it for pastel or pastel pencils, but I didn't really like it all that much for it. But as you can see here, this is supposed to be like their white or their neutral, whatever it is, but it is not white. It's more of like a creamy beige color. But the one thing I do like about this is it does have these pieces of glassine in between each, you know, sheet. So it kind of keeps it protected, but normally you're not going to keep all your artwork in there anyway. So you can just pull them out and use them to either lay over your artwork while you're working on it or even to stack them back in here and between the sheets of glassine, but I do like that. Now, I would say these feel just a little bit thinner than the Lux Archival paper. So this is 140 pound, and I'm not sure if this says what weight it is, but it's a little bit more flexible, just a little bit more flimsy. So I would say it's probably around 100, maybe 110 pound paper, still not bad. And I would say as for the grittiness, they're probably pretty close to each other, but you can definitely just see with the, the color, there is a huge color difference. So if that makes a difference to you. Now, the one thing about UART papers is they do come in different grades. So this is 600. I think they come with like a 400, 500, and 800 as well. Now it does say pH neutral, but I've seen some reviews on YouTube that the front of it is pH neutral, but the back of it is not. So they're wondering if over time that's gonna affect the artwork or anything. So keep that in mind. But this is pH neutral and archival on front and back. So if you're selling your artwork, this is all things to consider. So like I was just saying, this is archival and it will not yellow, darken, or deteriorate in any way and will last 100 plus years. So, you know, you're looking for good quality stuff when you're selling your artwork. It's extremely durable. It allows 30 plus layers of dry art medium, multiple corrections, erasures, and reworking without damaging the paper. So that's pretty impressive if you can get 30 plus layers out of this. The sanded surface is even and consistent without any visible patterns and that's one thing I did notice about the UART is that some of it is a little inconsistent so it's almost like they've missed a patch here and there. It wasn't like a whole lot but I have noticed it on a couple of pages. Water, alcohol, odorless mineral spirits resistant which allows application of dry and liquid mediums without buckling the paper. And that's really cool because normally when I'm doing my colored pencil pieces, I really like to use odorless mineral spirits for my base layers. And then I'll go on top with the colored pencil to create some more details and stuff. So I'd really like to try both the powder blender and using some odorless mineral spirits on this paper. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions of what you want to see, but I can't wait to get into this and start um, playing around with it. And the last thing that I received are these Derwent Light Fast pencils. This is the 72 set. Now these are 100% light fast. It says that they're oil based, but I've heard mixed um, views on that. They are professional and they are really nice. Now I did go ahead and open this up already. Um, so it comes with like a plastic film over top here, but I noticed when I bought it, there was one of these pencils um, 
it was sun yellow here. So instead of sun yellow, I had two banana pencils. So I actually contacted the company to see if they would replace it. So they sent me this sun yellow pencil. So now I have two banana pencils, but I have the sun yellow that I was missing. So these are all the pencils here. This is the top layer. And then if you take that one off, you get a second layer. So they've got a really nice um, range of colors. Now they've come up with a hundred colors. So you can, you know, buy the rest. I'll probably end up, if I like these pencils, I'll probably buy the rest open stock. But the other three main sets of pencils that I use are the Prismacolor um, Polychromos and I have the Caran d'Ache Luminance as well. So this is going to be a nice addition and I can't wait to get in and to start playing with them. Now they do come with this little uh, booklet here. And it just gives you some information. So it says hints and tips, layering, mixing, blending, pressure. So just some information. Now it's also talking about the ASTM standard for light fast. And as far as I know, all of the pencils in the Derwent light fast range are 100% light fast. So I know some of the other sets like Polychromos, there's one or two in there that's not as light fast as the rest, but this one, and I think the Caran d'Ache Luminance as well are all completely light fast. So that's really nice about these sets. You don't have to worry about picking one or two pencils out of them. And these are the colors here and it shows you which set that the colors are available in. And they've got a really nice range of colors. But of course, once you start getting to that hundred range of pencils, some of these colors look quite similar. So, you know, you be the judge if you need 100 pencils or not. I figure I'll start with the 72 set. And then if there's certain colors that I want, like this magenta, which um, only comes in the 100 set, you know I'm purchasing that one for sure <laughs> because I love my magentas. So, yeah, I'm just going to flip through here and then you guys can see sort of all of the colors that are available. And they do have a really nice range of colors and some colors that I know are unique to this set. And then some are similar that you're gonna find in other sets as well. So do your research. I always suggest going online, looking up, you know, swatch charts from the different brands. But I'm really interested to try these pencils out because a lot of the reviews that I've seen say that even though Derwent says these are oil-based pencils, they layer and feel creamier like wax-based pencils. So I'm going to be really interested to try these out. And I want to try these out with the powder blender as well, because the powder blender is supposed to be better for oil-based pencils. So that's going to be your Polychromos, your Pablos, you know, any oil-based pencils. So I'm interested to see if these are going to blend with that, or if because they feel more waxier, are they not going to blend? So wax-based pencils tend to not blend as good with powder blender, but I'm going to test all of those out. If you enjoyed this haul and you want to see these reviews coming out, then make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see first, and those will be sort of the things that I dive into first. And thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!